The Ankylodocus, a hybrid of the great Diplodocus and the hardy Ankylosaurus. Rivaling the largest to ever exist, its gargantuan armor plating and large club tail make this gentle giant a thundering presence in any park. I've got to hand it to him. Dr. Wu certainly knew what he was doing when it came to creating these hybrids. Take this Ankylodocus. Not only has it got a long, slender, whip-like tail, but check out the bulbous club at the end of it. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go giving it a reason to take a swing at you, okay? Alright, we're back once more, and this time with the new and improved Ankylodicus. Yes. My goodness, this hybrid has gone from the worst to being better. <laughs> oh my gosh, this hybrid is has gotten the love it had deserved well it should have deserved but i'm so glad that they gave it much love and they've listened to us 
Oh, it was so garbage in the first game. But now it is much better. All right. Going into the skins. We have we have the Sonoran. We have Death Valley, which is one that I do like. Uh, Great Sandy. I do like the red. Kind of gives me like a whole Disney's Dinosaur Carnotaurus color vibe. At least to me. Um, Complain Valley. I like it. Salar. It's okay. Limpopo. Like it. Quillian. Like it. Yukon. Love it. Svalbard. Love it. Amazon Rainforest. Love it. Mangrove Forest. Brighter version of this. And more greener. It's okay. Gambia River Basin. Strangely enough, I love it. And you know what? I'll go with it. I never really go for Gambia River Basin. But I'll go with it. To me, it kind of looks a little bit more naturalistic. At least to me. All right. First up, we have Rana, which we can see has the black stripe from the neck over to the black stripes on the body. We can also see the hint of green on here. I don't... Did it... I don't actually think it colored anything else, did it? Oh, no, it does. It gives that little hint on top of the shielding here. On top of the spikes? Horns? No, no. Why am I saying horns on the spikes? There is a little bit of a difference there. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, we have Kalkurana, which, honestly, it's not bad. Gives it this red outline with the yellow not bad uh we have lithobates which honestly this isn't also a bad pattern as well i kind of like it and it gives the tips on top of the scales uh, scales spikes <laughs> i'm gonna have a problem with this today huh uh we have polkrana which probably isn't the best for this skin but it's probably better for another skin uh, we have Papu Rana, which is, honestly, it's okay. On this one, at least. And then we have Lux, which looks better than, what was it, Papu Rana? Yeah, much better than Papu Rana, but we're going to always end it with the Lux. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that. It needed a hint of purple. Or at least I think that's purple. Like electric blue, purple, indigo, I don't, I, I don't know. All right, so here we have the idle animation. And there's also some hint of colors that happen on the back on the top of the club. I should have mentioned that too. But it's just like, okay, got an itch over here. Okay, I got it. It's like it's trying to reach over for to get it tick off of its leg um i will i won't kid you on this i mean you already saw the footage but most of the time when i was recording them doing their normal everyday life i thought it was in slow-mo but i was just on normal speed but i mean they're sauropods Uh, we have the Panic in Trot, uh, Fast Walk animation. We have the Resting animation. And we have the Cleaning animation. Which I guess it also moves its tail in the background. Oh yeah, it does. Let's go ahead 
You can see this in Lux. Oh, look at that. I really do like the Lux on Ankylodocus or Ankylodocus. Like I said, however you pronounce it. I really do like it. And I do believe that's everything from this. Well, from this species. And I will see you guys with last but not least, Spinoceratops. Mm -hmm.